it is what it is. Because this ain't even really about materialistic things. It's about morals and principles and the decisions that you make out of life. See, goofy Negroes come in the house four or five o'clock in the morning with no money in their pocket talking about last night was lit it was lit you a grown ass man talking about last night was lit after you stayed out all night and you came in the house with absolutely no dinero in your pocket but the dude that went to work the dude that went to work to feed his family, he goofy. He can't be around us real ones. But you want to know what's funny about you cats that be calling dudes like that goofy? When you get locked up and you go to jail, it be the goofy Negro that's sitting on a visiting floor giving you commissary that really, really likes you all along like, yo, I look up to you. But nah, he goofy. It's the goofy one that's writing you a letter in prison. The real ones ain't got time to write you. Cats is bugged out, man. Exactly. You sit back and you analyze it. Dudes be 50 years old. Calling they self killer. That's goofy. If you 50 years old and you calling yourself Gucci and uh, I mean killer and OG this and you goofy, you're a lame, you f nigga, you a grandpa, you know, Google Gaga, granddad, granddaddy, nah, you ain't OG nigga, you granddaddy, what's wrong with you cats, what's wrong with you? 50 years old, talking about you, you OG, shoot him up, bang, bang, kill a gorilla. What? Nigga, what? What? Who raised you? The penitentiary. I see why these cats be mad at me. You know what it's like? I got some girlfriends, right? That refuse to get with a black man. Because they refuse to bring you Negroes in their house around their children. Because they realize that you dysfunctional. That you live in your second childhood. They got careers. Where they making money. They own property. They drive a nice cars. And then you just think you just gonna bring your bum ass along. With your real nigga status. I'm <laughs> a real nigga. Cause I'm the realest nigga I know. Shout out to Lord I Kim. He made a song back in the days that was fire. I'm the realest nigga I know, but he broke it down. I take care of my seeds. It's one of the quotes he put in while he was a <sighs> These cats are standing outside in the park, like I said, man. You standing outside in the park next to the sliding board with a 40 in your hand and you ain't even got a kid with you you goofy you a lame if you even enter the park and you ain't playing basketball but you in there gossiping having meetings with your set you in the park you gossiping you having a meeting with your set, your crew, in a park? I thought the parks was for kids. You goofy. You lame. And you the type of dudes that when we get the mop, y'all know my slogan, get the mop. Get the mop. When we get the mop and we start cleaning up the hood, we starting with y'all first. Get the mop. You ain't supposed to be in the park having gang meetings. You ain't supposed to be in the park drinking beer. You ain't supposed to be in the park without no children. 
That's the, 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 the adult park Is the barbecue areas Where you get the grills You get your cooler Then you can drink your drinks So while you having your gang meeting Y'all can put Y'all can cook Your bum asses Can make some steaks While you having your gang meeting That's what grown folks do You meeting up to have gang meetings in a park where children supposed to play at, you goofy, you lame. Because when I think about parks, I think about pushing the kids on the swing. When I think about parks, I think about the kids going on the sliding board. When I think about parks, I think about no shootouts, no dead bodies. When you think about the parks, you think about brat, shoot them up, bang, bang, brat, 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 brat. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? What's wrong with you niggas? Who raised you? The penitentiary. Sparfit. And you proud of that. You proud that your mother was so fucking weak as a woman that she raised you to go to Sparfit. I've been going to jail since Sparfit. That means your mother wasn't shit, nigga. If I get up here and talk about my mama, what you think I'm going to say about yours? That means your mama ain't shit. Nigga. Get the mop. You gotta clean these cats up. I'm looking at some of these dudes sitting up there talking about how they gonna clean. How the hell y'all niggas think y'all gonna come on? Google. White supremacy as its finest. You gonna come on they platform and you gonna clean the goofy niggas up off of your slave master's platform? The people that's spying on you? Putting series and everything in your house to listen to you? You gonna come on a platform and clean the goofy Negroes up? Nigga, clean yourself up. I don't even understand. These channels that's built off of and based off of jail stories. How long you think your channel gonna grow and how, how big you think your channel gonna get when your conversation Consist of just talking about jail. Do you realize that it is over seven and nine billion people in this world that get on the social media shit? Do you really, really think all these people want to hear? They care about your jail story. It's only cool the first couple of times, and after that, we don't want to hear about how you had to put your soda in the toilet. We don't want to hear about how you had to keep your own your your your, your lunch meat that you got from commissary. In the toilet, yes, they keep their sodas in the toilet. So whenever they gotta take a piss of shit, they shit in the toilet. Then after that, they turn their toilet into a fucking refrigerator. No, we don't want to hear those stories. We don't want to hear no more stories about how you taking little ice picks like this, wrapping them up with a matchbook and plastic, and sticking them in your butt, then pulling them back out because it hurts like you got a doodle. Then you pulling them back out and you got to bust the plastic off so you can stab somebody. We don't want to hear about it. We don't want to hear no stories about how you had somebody bring you some weed the size of an orange. And you had to put Vaseline on your butt before you went on a visiting floor. You had to put Vaseline in your booty hole so that the balloon won't give you rope burn friction marks while you stick that whole orange worth of weed up your ass and then if you didn't wrap it good enough you got branches from that cheap weed you know the little sticks you got the branches sticking you through the balloon in your ass as you stick it in your ass and then we definitely don't want to hear about how when you go back to your jail cell you're going to shit the balloon out bust it open no some of y'all don't even wash it up y'all bite it open with your teeth doodle on your teeth take the weed out and now you and your mans is smoking weed and Bible paper and the weed smell like doo-doo. Whatever you ate for the last month, that weed smell like that. And y'all blowing it down. And you act y'all got nerve enough to be passing the blunt back and forth. So you smoking his asshole. Who goofy? Who's goofy? Do you hear the words that's coming out of my mouth? I could end this live right here with just what I said, and I just said enough. Like, damn. But it is what it is.